Good morning friends. Welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In this video, I want to discuss about what is a data, database, database management system, how to create a table, how to insert the values into the table. All these concepts I will discuss in detail for you. So I sincerely request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. First, let me define what is a data. Data is the fact that is recorded or stored anything if you have recorded or stored is called as data suppose let's take that my date of birth my date of birth will be there in the birth certificate once you have a birth certificate with your date of birth then we will say it is a data because it is been stored in the birth certificate similarly my name my parents would have kept my name and they would have stored in the college data or in the school data so now it is being recorded or stored so then i can say it is a data similarly my birthplace has been recorded in my birth certificate so i can say it is a data so any information or a fact that is recorded or stored will call it as a data then what is a database database is a collection of it is the collection of related data suppose in a college all the students information will call it as a database in an organization employees information will call it as a database okay collection of related data okay then we can ask sir what is database management system the name itself is saying that it is useful for you to manage the database okay it is the software use it to manage the database or i can say it is the set of programs useful useful to manage the database sir if it is a software use it to manage the database so using this software can we create the database yes we can do can we delete the database yes we can do all these things we can do using the database management system sir can you give me any examples for the database management system yes i can do like you have the oracle sql mysql db2 or postgre okay all these are the examples for the database management system now we will discuss how can we create a table let me discuss how can we create a table or what is the syntax for creating the table if you want to create a table what is a table table is a collection of attributes okay so or i can say collection of columns so every column you need to specify the data type and also if you can specify the constraints what is a constraint like you can have not null constraint unique constraint primary key okay foreign key all these constraints you can keep however while you are creating the table they are optional what is the syntax for creating the table is you can use create table table name create table you can provide in the upper case or lower case however it is recommended to use in the capital letters because the oracle sql is case in sense to or i can say it is not case sense to you can use it in the upper case or lower case but already i told you that it is better or recommended to use in the upper case so create table table name then you can provide the column 1 name column 1 name and its data type whatever the constraints if you want to keep for a particular column you can keep it like you can write constraint constraint name and then you can provide the type of the constraint all these things about the constraint i will discuss in detail in next videos then you will have the column name to data type and then again you can use constraint constraint name 
and the type of constant like you have not null unique primary key foreign key all these constraints you can keep and similarly if you want to create a constraint at the table level that also you can keep at the end then you will write table constraint whatever the constraints you want to specify you can specify whatever the constraints we are keeping here they are at the column level even you can keep the constraints at the column level for a particular column or you can keep a constraint at the table level after creating all the columns at the table level you can keep the constraint and end with a semicolon however the table level constraints and column level constraints are optional if you want to specify you can specify however you can neglect it okay if you don't want then let me discuss how can you create one table called student table or student underscore info table let me create create table or let me use capital letters create table whatever the table name you want to give let me write student underscore pernika then i want the student roll number let's take that roll number which is a number so i will write number i can specify the size number 10 and then i want to provide the name which is varcar2 varcar2 of 20 and then i can provide his yes yes is a number let's take the 10 and then i can end with a semicolon so how can you create a table create table table name and the set of columns and the corresponding data type now we will practically verify this one by opening the sql plus i will open the sql plus it is asking the username which is scott and the password is tiger let me click on ok now sql has been opened now i want to create the table so i will write i can write in the capital letters or lowercase that is not a problem create table table name i will give student underscore pernika then i want to create the student roll number okay roll number is the name of the column and the data type is number i will specify 10 then i want to have the name which is varcar2 of size 20 then i want to give his age which is again a number let me end with a semicolon now the table has been created successfully if you want to describe the table then you can give a command called desc table name which is student underscore pernika then it will show you the set of columns what are the columns are there roll number name is what is its type roll number is type is number name is varcar2 is is number any constraints are there it will be displayed however we have not specified any constraints so that's why the constraints are not displayed here so once you have created a table if you want to verify is the table has been successfully created or not you can give a command called desc which is useful for you to describe the table so desc table name end with a semicolon we have already discussed how to create a table there is another way to create the table you can specify the create table table name you want to create the table from the existing table then you can use as select some column column 1 column 2 from existing table what you are doing is that already some table is there called existing table from the table you want column 1 column 2 to be created as a separate table let's take that there is a student table in the student table there is roll number name marks is there okay roll number is 1 name is a marks is 10 similarly roll number 2 b is the name marks is 20 now from this table i want to create one more table called student 1 then i will write create table name okay create table table name is student 1 as select i want to use name 
marks from which table student table so what you are doing all this data also will come then you will have a table called student one with the column names as name marks and their information also will come like a 10 b 20 first we will insert some values into the created table which is student underscore parnika then we will create another table using this command so now we will discuss about how to insert the values into the table insert values into the table we can insert the values into the table in two ways first let me discuss one way then we will discuss in another way like you need to use insert into you need to provide the table name then you want to insert the values for a specified columns then you can provide column 1 column 2 etc and then you need to provide values then you can provide value 1 value 2 like that end with a semicolon then whatever the table name you have for the column 1 and column 2 you are inserting value 1 value 2 if you give this command or insert command then one tuple will be created to the existing table or one row will be added to the existing table okay now we will discuss another way also if you want to insert values for all the columns of the table then you can write simply like this insert into table name values whatever the values you want to provide you can provide like value 1 value 2 value 3 like that you can provide end with a semicolon if you want to give values for a specified columns you can use the first command if you want to give values for all the columns then you can use the second command now what we will do we will insert the rows into the table called student underscore parnika so what i will do is that i will write insert into table name what is the table name student underscore parnika then i will write values then the roll number i will give one the name i will give jagadish the string always should be enclosed within the single quote you have jagadish and the yes is let me enter 30. now you can see one row has been successfully created if you want to insert one more column or one more row sorry not one more column one more row then again you have to write it insert into into student underscore parnika values this time i want to enter the values as roll number is two and the name is siri and the age is let me enter 28 then you can see one more row has been created then again i want to insert the row number is three and the name is parnika age is four now you can see one more row has been created let me enter the roll number as four and the name is let's take that rajesh and age is 35 now you can see one more row has been created now you want to see all the data then you can use the select command which is a command from the data query language so i will write select star from table name it is the table name student underscore parnika end with semicolon then you can see all the attributes and the tuples you have three attributes so the degree of this table called student underscore parnika is three because you have three attributes they are roll number name is and you have the cardinal is four because you have four tuples or four rows roll number is one jagadish 30 roll number two siri 28 roll number three parnika four roll number four rajesh 35 now we will discuss how can we insert the values to the particular columns there is a student called Ravi his roll number 
should be displayed but i don't want to reveal his or he would don't want to enter his is then what you can write insert into student underscore parnika means insert into table name then what are the columns then you want to reveal his roll number or enter his roll number and then you want to enter his name then you can write values okay his roll number is 5 his name is ravi okay let's see what will happen end with single quotes and end with semicolon now you can see one more row has been created then i will write select star from student underscore parnika then you can see roll number is one jagadish 30 roll number two siri is 28 roll number three parnika four roll number four rajesh 35 roll number five ravi his age is null if you does not specify a value to the particular column or an attribute then by default it is null okay null is nothing but an empty one so this is the way you can create a table and also you can insert values to all the columns or to a specified columns as we said earlier we can create a table from the existing table also then what i will do create table table name i will give as parnika underscore two so what is the syntax we have discussed we create a table table name as then i will write select i want to take the name and then yes from which table from student underscore parnika table let me end with the semicolon then you can see table has been created so what is the way you can give you can give create table table name as select what are the columns you want to take i want to take name and years from the student underscore parnika table and i have created a new table called parnika underscore two now i want to display the data from parnika underscore two table then you can see we got the name and is name as jagadish age is 30 siri 28 parnika 4 rajesh 35 ravi null so this is the way you can create a table you can insert the values into the table and you can display the values from the table also using the command called select star means all the attributes you want to display from which table you have to provide i hope you have understood these concepts if you still have any doubts related to this concept feel free to ask me in the comment section i will try to clear your doubts as early as possible thank you for watching the complete video have a nice day